Hey guys, Neri here from Drake Wing Gamers. So if you know me on Twitter, the Gaming Dragon. Today I'm coming back at another Let's Play episode of Tennis Ace. Of course, by this point, everyone knows we're doing Shuichi's Path. So yes, gonna get us some hot dog guy. <laughs> but yes, we're in a candy we're in a candy store owned by the I think it's the class president. I think that's what she is, Ayaka-san, or Ayaka-chan, as a couple of them call her. But anyway, guys, please sit back and enjoy. Let me entertain you for the next 20 minutes, and let's jump right in. Alarm saying you're up, and let's go. All right. <clears throat> I look back and see June still walking up and down the shop, looking at all the sweets in sight. Good thing we're only good thing we're the only one good thing we're the only ones here, otherwise I can imagine how disturbing this would be for other patrons. June, is there something you want? I'll buy it for you. Huh, really? I nod and his whole face just lights up. What Yuichi, how come you don't make me the same offer? You have money to buy your own sweets. Stop being a mooch. Shut up. Did you just go looking for a reason to squabble or does it just come naturally to you? <laughs> well, I'm glad to see you're all just as energetic outside of school as you are inside of it. I'm not. You're not the one who has to deal with them all day. <laughs> Shut up. Shut it. Oh my. Harada. <laughs> you two are more compatible than I thought. The two both look at each other at the same time before they both look away with a huff. Why are you making it worse? <laughs> I'm sorry. It just, just gets really dull here sometimes. June sheepishly walks up to the counter. Uh, um, you witchy son, can, can I take one of these, one of each of these? I, I want to bring some for my parents, too. June points to an array of assorted sweets, among them some bonbons, cakes, and mochi. Mochi's delicious. I love mochi. Is this really all you're taking for you and your parents? He nods slowly. From the way that he stares longingly at them, I can already imagine he's embarrassed of asking for more. Eh, we'll, we'll buy some more. Hey, Akasan, can you give me three of each of these inside of a box? What? For a half second, she looks stunned. Then she giggles, looking very pleased. That's so sweet of you. You're such a good friend. All right, I'll be right back. But, but Yuichi-san, that's too much. No, it's not. Don't worry about it. I'm not anywhere close to being over my budget anyway, and I won't hear no for an answer. But... but... Oh, that's look delicious. Class rep soon... Class rep, okay. Class rep soon comes back, placing three identical boxes that neatly stack on top of each other like a ladder. I peer inside before she finishes wrapping it, marveling at how pretty everything looks inside. None of the sweets have even a single smudge or smush on them, and they somehow look even more pristine than they did behind the glass counter. She also leans in close to my ear and whispers something. Free real estate. <laughs> I'm going to give you a 50% discount on this. Just pretend it's the full price. And not along. That'll be 2,345 yen. And don't worry, the packaging is already included. Seems good to me. I fish inside my wallet for a 5,000 yen bill and hand it to her. Thank you for your patronage. What about you boys? Have you decided on anything? As the two make their orders, I hand June's sweets to him inside a plastic bag. Here, enjoy. Th thank you, Yuichi-san. Instead of taking the bag that I'm holding from my hand, he suddenly gives me a tight hug. Despite being caught by surprise, I don't pull away, instead giving him a few pats on his back as he buries his face in my chest. Oh my! I look back to see the class rep covering her mouth with her hands, her face red. Shuichi and Kasich are standing next to each other, grinning. Alright, you two, maybe don't do that inside a store in, fr in front of the main street. People are looking at you through the window. I look out and see that, in fact, many people are passing by and staring at us as they do so. I quickly jump away from June, nearly talking him down when I do so. <laughs> Uh, s sorry, uh, here's your sweets. He doesn't even look me in the eyes when he takes the bag from my hands. Ayakasan giggles. Damn it, my face feels so hot right now. <laughs> Once we finish shopping around, we exit the store back out to the busy main street. We've barely even left it, and June already starts to freak out. C can we go someplace else now? I, I don't like being out in the street. Y you know, you're going to have to get used to this sooner or later. The school trip is about four months away. Sure, but we've never gone anywhere that wasn't at least twice the size of Saitama. At the mention of the school trip, June whines pitifully, making me roll my eyes in frustration. Oh, that's true. We have the school trip in July. Huh. I need to talk to my father about it. Has the school already revealed where your class is going to be? Yeah, they did yesterday. It's Paris. She which she whistles in admiration. Maybe they'll take the third year somewhere interesting this year, too. Last year, we went to the Chiba Prefecture. Didn't we go to Hong Kong when we were freshmen? Oh, yeah. Saif and Chai got food poisoning from some questionable dumplings and spent the rest of the trip in bed. All right, don't eat any foods that haven't been prepared by a reputable restaurant. I'll keep that in mind. I think it's less to do with the restaurant's reputation and more to do with us. 
Japanese people have pretty fragile stomachs. It doesn't take much to get us sick. Over 80% of Japan's population is lactose intolerant. You can't really expect much from our stomachs. What am I supposed to do then? Not eat? Stick to the food the hotel staff prepares, I'd say. What is even the point of visiting a foreign country then? The point is actually going around instead of staying stuck to your bed with indigestion. Okay, you win this time. Uh, um, um. I feel someone grabbing onto my arm. When I look back, I see June at the edge of a breakdown, clinging desperately to me. Oh no, not this again. He, stare, he starts squeezing my arm again. I can already feel the blood flow being cut off. Okay, let's move it, people. I don't want to lose my arm. Oh god, he's crying. Shuichi pulls out his phone. It's still a bit early. Sai asked us to come to the diner for lunch so she could join us after her shift ends. But it's still way too early for lunch. Where should we go? There's a library nearby. How about we go there? Really? A library? On our day off? We should go to some place where we can relax. How about we go to a tea parlor? There's a good one a couple streets away. Ew, no, I don't even like tea. You don't have to drink the tea, you can just have some snacks. Lunch is in less than two hours. We shouldn't be stuffing ourselves with food. We can show up a bit later. They serve lunch at 2 p until 2 p.m. anyway. There'd be no point going in too early because we'd have to wait around anyway. Uh, uh, anywhere's fine. He squeezes harder. Crap, my arm's tingling. Ow, 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 just pick some place already. I don't care where. Why don't we have Yuichi-san choose, then? It'd be easier than arguing about it. Sounds like a good, sounds like a good idea. What do you think? Uh, let's go to the tea shop. Look, I'm not a huge fan of tea, either, but the idea of going to a library on my day off is just... No! Oh, come on. They have fantasy there, too. Yeah, but we're going out as friends. What else would be the point of doing that if we're just going to go into a corner and read by ourselves? Aw, no worry. I'll do yours in the next one, cutie. Yes, I knew you'd understand. Yeah, yeah, great. Can we please go already? I can barely feel my arm anymore. Oh, sure. Good guys, follow my lead. That means you stay put, Arushiara. Har har, very funny. Just lead the way already. <laughs> Shuichi leads us to a small secluded shop that is a little distant from the main street. The place is mostly empty, not that I can imagine a tea shop being packed, but the inside looks as far removed from a Japanese tea shop as I can imagine. As soon as we walk in, we are greeted by a small wolf boy. By a small wolf boy who doesn't look to be much older than us. Welcome! Can I get you anything? He flashes us a toothy smile and hands us a small flyer with their entire menu. Wow, it's really compact. Uh, ah, Erudica, Erotica, it's nice to see you again. It's been a while since you last came by. <laughs> yeah, I've been getting that a lot recently. Busy with schoolwork again? You always seem to disappear a couple times a year when things start get, getting hectic. Yeah, I guess you can say that. Plus, senior year and all that. The pressure to get into a good college just eats up even more of my free time. Uh, Shuichi, introduce us? Oh, right, everyone, this is Tadanori Senpai. He was one of my seniors on the volleyball club back when I was a freshman. Tadanori Senpai, this is everyone. You call that an introduction? I'd have gotten more useful information out of a name tag. Well, I, we don't use name tags here. This is just a small tea shop after all, and you are... Keisuke Rushihara, nice to meet you. Uh, ah, from the Arushihara Corporation, right? I uh, didn't know Arutakan was friends with such a big shot. A big shot? That's not... I'm Yuichi Michimaya. It's a pleasure to meet one of Shuichi's former teammates. I'd like to go to a Japanese tea shop one day. Shit, I'd like to go visit Japan one day. The wolf's smile widens, flashing us some teeth. Ah, uh, so you're the famous Yuichi I've heard so much about when I was in the club with Erudakan here. Uh, uh annoy, senpai not now. The wolf flashes a devious look as he turns away from Shuichi. Erudakan here used to talk about you a lot. I think I heard your name more often than any of the teammates that year. Tadanori, senpai <laughs> Don't be so uptight, Erudakan. You shouldn't enjoy your youth while you still have it. You'd be more believe you would be more believable if you weren't laughing right now. Why don't you guys have a seat and call me over when you're ready to order? Shuichi immediately begins pushing us towards some of the faraway seats. His attempt at getting us away from Tadanori san is praiseworthy, but also incredibly obvious. Well, that was something. Kaken speaks up once we're finally seated. Say, Shuichi, did you really talk about me? Uh, shut up! Shuichi buries his red face in his arms. You keep saying that, and it's gonna turn into your catchphrase. Shuichi shoots him a dirty look, but Kaken cuts him off before he gets to say anything. Yeah, yeah, shut up. Got it. Hmm. Yeah, June. Hey, June, what are you thinking so hard about? 
Huh? Oh, I was trying to decide what I can order from the menu. At least it's not crazy expensive in here. I can pay for you if you want. Thanks, but no thanks. I don't want to turn into a mooch. Unlike some people here. Hey, I'm not a mooch. Funny you'd say that, considering I never mentioned any names. Well, I guess if the shoe fits. Don't go around thinking oh, you're oh so slick. I know who you were talking about. Hey, if the shoe fits. I'll stuff that shoe down your throat. Boy, that escalated quickly. Sometimes I wonder how you two manage to be friends. Who says we're friends? Who says we're friends? That does. They both look at each other in the eye and then look away in disgust. Getting some real creepy twins vibes from you two. Shuichi groans. Seriously though, you two are oddly in sync today. Well, we can't disagree about everything all the time. That's exactly the opposite of what you said earlier. Well, life's filled with contradictions. Could you please try making sense? Anyway, what are you guys thinking of ordering? I'm gonna go with... Let me guess. Green tea. Bingo! Kaken examines his flyer with the undivided attention you'd see from someone reading a very good book. Uh, Kaken, that's a very intense look you have on your face right now. Oh, I'm sorry. It's just... Just... I hate tea. He tosses his menu back on the table, leaning back in his seat with a heavy sigh. I'll just get a coffee. They don't really have anything of note other than a ridiculous amount of types of tea. Oh yeah, this place is kind of lacking in drinks other than tea. It's sort of aimed towards people who, uh, who love the tea the most. It's one of the biggest selections in the city. I'm sure we could find something you like if we... I'll have a coffee. Okay, and certainly nothing but coffee. I don't appreciate the mockery. Too bad, I do. Just when it looks like they're going to start arguing again. Could you two cut it out? There are people staring at us. The two start looking around and realize that most of the people in the tea shop are staring intently at them. It's like this group is always drawing other people's attention. It's so funny. Everyone's staring at them. <laughs> Everywhere they go, everyone's staring at them. So, sorry. Every single time. Well, of course people would notice. This place is dead quiet. Any sound becomes easy to notice. How did you realize they were staring at us, though? You didn't lift your eyes from your menu. I have good hearing. I heard people whispering about us. Oh, great. We barely just came here and already we're being talked about. You should keep your voice down, then, if you don't want that. Jeez, I've never seen Junko and being this blunt before. Well, I don't like having attention drawn to myself, and you guys are getting everyone around us to, everyone to look at us, so I'm feeling a bit displeased. <laughs> they fall into bewildered silence for a few seconds. Is it me, or does the fact that he's always goofy just make this now look even more serious? We all nod in agreement. Hmm, I think I'm gonna go with the oolong tea. It's not too expensive, and I tend to like it. Hmm, can I maybe afford something to eat, too? Uh, I also have to eat lunch later. We all exchange glances between each other, silently sharing our thoughts. Please, let us pay for your food. But no, I don't want to take advantage. I'll beg if we have to. But... No buts, we're paying for it. Before he can disagree, I call Tedanori san over to our table. Hey, you guys ready to order? Yeah, uh, can I have the oolong tea, a green tea, two coffees, and a rice cracker platter for the four of us? Tedanori san writes our order on a small notepad and then tops it with his pen, pen a few times. Okay, I'll be right back with your order. He walks back to the kitchen, first stopping by the front door to receive some other people who had just arrived. There, I ordered. Now we'll have a shared plate of snacks to eat, and it'll be a waste for you to not eat them. Who? but... You didn't have to order for me. I don't worry about it. It wasn't any trouble. No, seriously, you shouldn't have. I hate rice crackers. Is there anything you actually like? In this tea shop? I hardly think so. Seriously, rich guy, rich guy who hates tea. That's like a bear who doesn't like honey. Now you're just being speciesist. Not all bears like honey. Do you know any that don't? That's besides the point. If you ask me, that's entirely the point. Gah! You know, for a guy who looks so cute and innocent, you do have a way of cutting into conversation at the exact moment you can cause the most damage. He looks awfully cheeky smiling at that. Well, ignoring his majesty's pickiness. Hey! I was thinking of visiting the park. The cherry trees are supposed to be in bloom today. Ah! Dune's eyes are nearly sparkling with excitement at hearing those words. It's been years since the last time I saw the cherry trees. Well, I guess at least one of us is excited for it. It's the same thing every year. Seriously, did you come along just to complain? Actually, I was planning on getting new strings for my racket, but that works too. Ugh, remind me again, why do I still invite you to these things? 
Because you love me. She would she face palms. You two look like an old married couple. <laughs> Shut up! Shut it! Okay. <clears throat> anyway, Sai is supposed to get off her shift at one and then she'll have her own lunch. So I think we'll be leaving the dinner at about two or so. So, if we leave the diner at about 2 205, we should get to the park by 2.30. That's an assuming the train isn't late, of course. Okay, uh, what exactly are we supposed to do at the park? Sightseeing. We... We see those sights... Oh, excuse me. We see those sights every year! I know, but Junkun was living in a different town for the past six years, and it's been a while since he visited the Amaya Park. I figured he'd enjoy working, walking around and visiting the stalls. And are the rest of us supposed to die of boredom in the meantime? We'll be walking around the park in a group of five people. If you manage to get bored doing that, then you certainly deserve a prize. Kasich places a hand down on the desk and groans loudly. Again, people whispering... S sorry Look, that's all well and good, but you've planned out this whole outing for Kobayashi's sake. But aren't we all supposed to be enjoying ourselves here? Going out in this ridiculous heat to a park that's far as hell, as far as hell away from my house just to see some cherry trees I see every single day is pushing it. They're not even all that they're cooked up to be. That's not really all that fun. What's wrong with the cherry tree? No, don't! I'll tell you what's wrong with them. Ah! Shuichi and I both groan loudly. Back when I first moved into my current house, my father decided the best way to make me feel comfortable was to have a bunch of cherry blossoms planted just outside the garden at our house. Wait, you actually had cherry blossoms planted at your house? Yes, now please, let me finish. Anyway, eventually when the trees grew big enough to blossom, he decided to invite a bunch of his friends to come appreciate the sight. Those friends of his, of course, had to bring their horrible spoiled kids with them. So while the adults were outside taking a tour through our cherry blossom garden, I was forced to stay inside with this big, mean bulldog kid who kept tormenting me for the whole day. And when they finally were gone, my dad told me they'd been repeating this tour for the rest. They'd be repeating this tour for the rest of the week. So, what do you mean so? Cherry blossoms are the reason I was bullied for a whole week as a kid. What? That's your big reason? Yep, it is. Well, it's ridiculous. Also, yep. Hey, none of you were there! I don't care if I wasn't there. What sort of backwards logic did you use to end up blaming the cherry blossoms? What's wrong with you? Well, now you're just being mean. Well, you're dead inside. <laughs> uh, should I come back later? Oh, damn, we didn't even notice him coming back. Oh, not at all. Actually, do you have any popcorn? This is hysterical. Shoot. Yeah, yeah, shut it. Got it. Just get back to fighting. But I wasn't... But I... Only then did June finally realize that his little outburst had landed everyone's eyes directly on him. S sorry Tadanori san sets her bowl of crackers and our beverages on the table and leaves us. Well, that's a way of stopping an argument. Who says I was trying to stop it? I pick one of the crackers and plop it in my mouth, smiling smugly at Chuichi. Well, at least one of us is having fun. So much fun! Well, since you enjoyed that, why don't we talk about the stupid things you hate for a second? Go right ahead, I have no such things. Oh yeah? One word. Milk! What? It tastes weird! No, it doesn't. It tastes like milk. I understand if you were allergic, but you're not. You hate milk? Hey, don't laugh at me, Mr. I hate cherry trees! Kasich opens his mouth to say something, but no words come out, from, come out from it. He ends up leaning back in his seat again and looking away. Okay, this is how you want to play, huh? Well, Shuichi hates rock music. <laughs> Why? W what? Dude, you hate rock music? It's just noise! Guys, guys! Tadanori san shows up once again, a perplexed look on his face. Would you please keep it down? The other patrons are complaining about you. S sorry Sorry! Sorry. After giving us the warning, he walks away, leaving all of us looking awkwardly to the sides to the disapproving faces of the other patrons. You're right, this is funny! We all start glaring at him, causing him to stop laughing and look down awkwardly. Look, I'm sure we can all we all got a little bit carried away. How about we just pretend nothing ever happened? <laughs> okay. Agreed. All right. We sit we sit around in comfortable in uncomfortable silence, looking down at the table without touching our food. <sighs> I once caught Arata, Arata dancing in the student council room when he thought no one was around. No. We all turned to stare at Chuichi. 
You wanna play with fire? I can play with fire. Rishihara on. Please, let's not do this again. But he started it. I don't care. Behave. Fine. Seriously, though, dancing? I was bored. What sort of dance was it? No ca- Tango. <laughs> wow. Why? All right, you behave too. It's bad enough that I have to chaperone one man-child. I don't need a second one on my back. Are you calling me a man-child? What? No, not explicitly. What? You suck. All right, guys, I'm gonna pause it right there. Thank you so much for watching. God, this group just get, this group just keeps biting, just takes keeps taking the piss out of each other. Jesus. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, ring that notification bell, leave a super thanks if you can. It always helps. Until the next video, I love you all. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.